So it's Sunday morning. We didn't get very far on the shed yesterday because <clears throat> I did something stupid and got a drill bit through my finger and it hurt pretty bad yesterday. Look at all my mess. That's this this why I'm building this. But uh having my having my coffee. A pretty cool cup. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the sun. If I come around like this, it's a big old 20 ounce coffee mug. Uh, so we didn't didn't get near. So I wanted to finish this and get the roof on it yesterday. I wanted to do more work over there on my. Well, I finished my deck off. I got to put the deck. It's all framed. I just need to put the deck boards on it. I need to go get the deck boards. But uh, this morning, I don't know why I'm walking past this spot. We are going to. I'm going to get my uh, my bee suit on. It's my little my little junk room where my pool filter and everything is. But I'm going to get the bee suit on and. Uh, Go out and look at the bees this morning and then probably do some weeding over there in the garden until uh until it warms up over there. Alright, let's go play with the bees. My bees are pretty, I don't know, they're hit and miss. Sometimes they're aggressive, sometimes they're, they're not. You guys see the kind of gloves I'm putting on. I've got actual bee gloves, but I don't have very good dexterity in them. And the gardening gloves, they can shoot through. And the neoprene gloves, they can shoot through. So I have to wear them both because I keep, I've gotten popped on the finger a couple good times, so... There's my beehive. That's what I do for their water. I, I change it every day or so. I always put a, a leaf in there for a float for them. You can see they're, they're already waking up this morning, but let's pop the top off and just take a little look. We're not going to get too deep into it. It's just a, just a look. So last week, <clears throat> I added this new super on top. So I've got one, two, three, I've got four. This is a queen excluder down here, but just in a week, and it's got a feeder. This one's got a, uh, a feeder down here, but how many bees are already up in this thing? We're gonna pop this off and just look at this craziness. I don't, I'm gonna have to put my hive tool down or I'm not gonna be able to do all this. So check them out, all hanging, all doing their thing. 
set this guy down pretty gently. There's a lot of bees on there. So the feeder looks pretty empty, so that's fine. This is a oops, sorry. this is a, a liquid feeder. <clears throat> and then because I was trying to get this hive to take off, I have the liquid feeder and down here, and I'll probably go ahead and dig the, this this super here is so stinking heavy, it's full of honey. But there's a protein laying here and when I tried this last time I put the protein on this side as before I had it down here in the in the chambers and I'm going to take it down and see how much they've eaten in two weeks on the uh, on the protein I don't see well, let's take a look here real quick see if I can do this with one hand It's the hand that's got the had the screw shot through it. One good thing about working with these without the with a queen excluder, I don't have to come on, get out of the way, ladies. I uh, don't have to worry about rolling the queen because we know she's not up here. Boy, they're not wanting me to get in this spot. They did not like that. action nope that is not going to work I've got the wrong I need a new a new hive tool I need a J tool so it helps me do this boy they're just coming right out of this one like they do not want me to pull this one Look at them. They're, they're hitting me. They're not happy about me pulling this one. And I got one stinging me right now. Sorry if my hive tool's in your way, guys. Just, ah. That one stuck hard. Alright, let's set that one down. Okay. So that so as you can see on the bottom, I don't know if I'm even angling that right, but there's some wax down there. That's why it was hard. You can see they haven't really done anything because this, if you guys don't know, this is this is plastic, but you can see the yellow. So they're starting to just crawl across it. Nothing going on in there. That yellow in there, it's just yellow plastic. I'm trying to break these apart. I just want to see if there's any of them that has any, if they're doing, oh, okay. I don't know if you can see down here. There's wax being built on there. So they're starting to build out up here. Just beginning to. Oh, there's, they already got some honey in on this one. I don't want to do too much poking around. But for this next part, so I'm going to put this back together and I'm going to pull this box so I can look at what's going on down here. So I'm going to set this guy down way back over here because there's no way I can lift that box with one hand. So, okay, I'm still got weight.
They're starting to get a little annoyed with me. But, so two weeks ago, there was a pollen patty. Oh, shit, it just stung her. She stung me, see? Uh, I don't know if you can see that stinger right there on my glove. Now, when I go back down here, they're all going to hop on that finger. Pull that out. I don't think you can see. I'm not going to be able to get that to focus. Um, see that little stinger? Right there on the, right there. That's the stinger. So, there was a pollen patty right here. <clears throat> and they've eaten it already in two weeks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed them another pollen patty. Because right now I'm not worried about, even though, and I'll pull one of these out here in a few. All these are completely full of honey. Here, you're walking around with your stinger hanging out. All of these are full of honey. This this box probably weighs a good 60 pounds. That bottom one's not near as heavy. And then if I were to pull this down below, this is where the queen and the brood and there's honey and bee bee bread and all that. But right now I'm not concerned about getting down in there. Uh, probably in another week or so I'll pull that green one under there because that's a drone um, comb. I think that's what it's called but it's so I can try to uh, check and trap for a varroa but anyway I'm gonna go inside real quick make a pollen patty come out and put the pollen patty on here and then put all this back together and they're calming down a little bit Get this held all wonky so pollen patty just I just plop mine down in here, kind of where there's not a big thing of bees, and then I need to, I'd normally just cut like straight, but since I'm doing this one handed I can't really get to it the way I want. Actually right here, I had a mouse get into the box. And it was eaten into the my storage box where this stuff is. I need to put this in a in a tub. Anyway, so I just rough up the uh, wax paper. They'll eat right through it. This just gives them a little more access to it. It's not that big of a deal. And now I'm going to put the tops back on. I'll put that heavy top on. Then I'll pull just one comb to show it. So this one's really interesting because last week or two weeks ago this was a empty frame. I pulled it from the top and put it down in the bottom just to see and as you can see that's all that's just capped honey right here. That's still building that out. This side you can see nectar, capped honey. I'll go set this one to the side and I'll pull a, a full Now hopefully I'm showing this because I got both my hands on it. This frame is this is probably a 10 pound frame man. All capped honey. And actually what I think I'm going to do is pull this one up top and put another empty into that bottom.
So I put two, I ended up taking two full cat frames out of here, just putting up here. I've got to order my, <clears throat> I still got to order a honey processor, so. And this year, when I process honey, it's only going to be up here. This one's going to get full, I'm going to leave it full, I'm going to pull the queen excluder and make it a three bottom for next year. And then I'm going to order smaller supers for, uh, for honey production. If I can make it through winter. Last hive, last year's hive did not make it through winter. And, uh. I don't know, I was playing with some flowers this morning, so I just laid that there because there's pollen on it. Um, as you can see, they're, they were getting pretty tired of me. They were starting to hit me pretty good. I can feel them bumping all over me. But, yeah. And then, like I say, guys, I'm a bee noob. So if any of you guys are out there that do like, see a little pollen on... That one that just went in, there's probably going to be one climb out of here in a minute because they're going up under before they go in. It's a screened bottom, so sometimes that throws them off. There it went. See a little bit of pollen coming in this morning. Some white pollen, it looks like. Um, but anyway, I'm a bee noob, so if you guys see stuff that I really should not be doing, point that there with some yellow pollen. Point, uh, point it out so I uh, stop myself before I wreck these guys I uh yeah they're they're hunting pretty good this morning there's a lot of pollen coming in I've noticed they bring in way more pollen in the morning than they do in the uh, in the afternoon but I killed my bees last year they made it till February and then we had a really hard hit uh, of weather and that pretty much did them in so I'm not sure if it was varroa I did not treat for a varroa last year I've already treated once this year for a varroa mite and uh, I'll treat again ooh he was full there's a lot of pollen coming in um, and I'll treat one more time before winter I think September is when I'm supposed to treat for a varroa again and uh, but anyway that's kind of what we're going on I don't know if you guys noticed the pollen I'm just showing them when they call when they go to crawl in you can see like that one they have uh, those sacks on the back of their legs that's full of pollen Wait for another one. Watch now, all of a sudden, all the. There goes one. Uh, anyway, that's what's going on with the bees. So I took two full ones out of here, put up there, took two empty ones, and put them over here. So in two weeks, we'll check that and see what they've done. What they've done with those empty frames. And uh, just to see how they're doing. And that's what I do with. I took the old cardboard out from the last time I did a Varroa uh, app. I just haven't done. And I, I was, uh, that was HopGuard that I used with them. So anyway, like I said, that's my bees. And now I've got to get all this freaking, all this crap freaking out of my garden. That's a two-year-old carrot there. I was going to pull it, but the bees seem to like it so I'm just gonna let it there let it do its thing and let the bees climb all over it this monster I don't know if you can, can't really tell how big that is that's a uh, horseradish from last year it came it keeps once once you have horseradish you have horseradish forever tomatoes went out of control didn't stay on top of those I didn't really kind of plant my garden and let it do its thing but anyway I'm gonna weed the garden and that was a uh, yeah that was a look at my bees so uh, yeah how about that's what this week's video will be just my bees so I'll catch you guys later